Welcome to another series, and in fact my second series, of Banished Mega Mod 9. Now I want to start a new map because I wasn't very happy with the last one. Surgeonsville, I don't really like the name there. Monston, that's better. Verdant Plains, very large, is the terrain size. Climate, we're using fair. Disasters on, starting conditions hard. Let's see what map we get. Okay. Now, what we're looking for here is a map that has a river within easy distance of our spawning point, and I would like a lake. I don't want a map that has a river so in one corner of the map, which is one I generated once, so I would like quite a decent go at a river because there's lots and lots of things we need, like traders and things that have to go along a riverbank. So the first thing to do is to stop and have a look at the map. We are not near a river. That is not insurmountable. Oh dear, that is, no, we are not going to take that map. I'm too far from a river. Close this window. Right, let us exit. Right, we're putting clouds in the sky, we're colouring the terrain. All right, that, <laughs> we're near water. But, are we near a river? Let's have a look. Oh my word, we are. Right. Okay, um, let's close that down. We'll definitely take this map. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Right, let's start off by setting ourselves up with a small map in the corner, as always. An event log, nothing's happened, our stats, we're starting with eight adults and six children, we're low on children in this map, and we want to know who we've got, let me put a couple of builders straight in. Now, wow. just have a look oh wow okay let's start food is going to be a real issue let's start with a gatherer's hut and do we have yeah that will do nicely I don't want this too far away there will be fine all right, let's pin that. That's the first thing we're gonna build. And we're gonna build a road. Right. Actually, I don't want it to go into here. We'll build the dirt road there. Close enough. All right, and then they will need shelter. So food comes first, gatherer's hut first, and then we need at least one house. And we're going to go into the Port Royal housing. So we will put one house, a log cabin. Yeah, and we will put it I think we will start by putting it right there and maybe one on the other side so that they can go in there for shelter. All 
Right, that's two houses to be built. All right, and then I think, is there somewhere that would make a good fishing lodge? Fishing is always good to have. Let's have a look. Bit of, you know, that looks quite good from the fishing point of view. Or there? No, it would be better on the side of the lake, wouldn't we? How far out can I get it? There. That's not bad. All right, let's put a fishing hut in as well. So gathering and fishing, right, they will need a stockpile. Just do a general stockpile and we are going to put that general stockpile, um, I think we'll put it right here. It's difficult with stockpiles knowing where to put them actually. there okay so we've got a stop part to put in as well right let's see how we go with that let us kick off right now let's see what they're going to build the other thing we will need to build is going to be a woodcutter and I think we will put Stockpile is already being built, great. Let's come into here and under the industry, there is a very nice little woodcutter that we will put right there. And he's not too far from that stockpile. That stockpile can be closed down right gatherer's hut now we need to collect stone we need to collect everything from that area that will give us logs and stone we've got one two two nine on the food yeah that should give us enough logs and stone for a gatherer's hut which hopefully is not too far away. I want to try and keep them as close as possible at the moment and see how we get on. The reserve of logs is low, inevitably. Here we go. So pretty, this game, so pretty. Right, I'm watching the food. Gatherer's hut is being built. Good. Reserve of logs is low, that's fine. We're going to have four gatherers as soon as we can. And then we're going to put some storage in next to them. Let's have a quick look. Gatherer's hut. One, two, actually just... Three. Let's get three gatherers in. All right, the log cabin has been built and it's got two gatherers in. That's great. Um, we've got 12 homeless, but I want... got another log cabin being built there. We've got everything we need. Just needs to be built. I just want to look under the Port Royal here. Yeah, reserve of logs is low. Another log cabin been built. Two log cabins. Reserve of firewood is low. Yeah, we need the fishing dock and we need the woodcutter. So next thing, we've got three people here. We've got 424 food. Are you making food? Yes, you are. Good. So let's have a little look at storage. I'd like some storage up near here. 
So if we look at this and we look at storage, I think there is Port Royal storage, edible storage, loft storage, and a warehouse. Right, let's, this is just all types of food. Okay. Oh gosh, that's tiny. It's a cellar. Oh my goodness, that's not quite what I had in mind. That's a magazine. No, 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 no. Let's not go there. Let's go back to our normal barns. All right, and I think we will put in just a normal storage barn. That shore storage. Nice, but not what we want. There's nothing like a good barn to start with. Right, let's get that barn in there. All right. It's 48 logs and a lot of stone. Right. Let's put that on hold. Because they can store in here and they can store in their houses. Now, what have you got in your houses? The gatherer's hut, we have some in there. This log cabin has 53 potatoes and these have, a, oh, look, you're hogging all the potatoes. The reserve of food is low. Right, let me pop you over there. Right, we need more food. The gatherer's hut is pulling some in, but not enough. The fishing dock, yeah, it's coming up. Right. Okay, let's put one, two in there. We'll put another, we'll put another one in there. What we haven't got yet is a hunter. So we need a hunting cabin. that one, which we will put near the gatherer. Yeah. Good, and that will give us hide as well. Right, how's our food? 298. Yeah, that's looking slightly better. Okay, um, so we've got Four labourers, we could put somebody else in the hunting cabin. Let's put three in. That hunting cabin, uh, that's a builder I've just put in. Never mind. It will get it done. They're not complete. We need more stone. So we need to collect um, stone and iron. And we need more logs. So let's collect these logs here. All right, have logs and stone. Aha, we have a woodcutter. Let's put, we want to make firewood. That one only makes lumber. Right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> let's look for a small chopper. Okay, uh, resource production. Those are trees, we want resource refinement. A woodcutter, that is nice. We could do a tiny chopper. You're faffing around here when you need a woodcutter. Let's... Um, Let's put that little woodcutter in. That's very nice. We'll put you in here. Let's get that woodcutter in. 
and also right we've got the looking good we've got 500 food that's looking better let's get a couple more they're cold and we need people so let's put in a log cabin up here um, we want to put a log cabin in that will be close to these two uh, but also close down here yeah so we're going to put a little log cabin in there and there that's two little log cabins because we've got seven people without homes uh, we've got four laborers so the hunting cabin we can put two in there uh, yeah that's it so we need more hunters more fishers right well the next problem is going to be that we need to have some iron so we need not the sherbrooke blacksmith port royal we want the port royal blacksmith who is absolutely cute so you my dear are going to go next to the woodcutter leave one in case they start to burn that one yep a little bit more whoa a little bit more road there right we've got a woodcutter good let's get somebody in there let's take a builder out and put a woodcutter in all right only just in time that fuel limit um let's add a naught to that we can always put two look cutters in if we need them log cabin builder yeah and another log cabin there okay right let's shut the log cabins down the gatherer's hut has four people in that's fine we'll keep that pinned that log cabin yeah we're getting children we've got 13 people only two children the hunting cabin we need more people the fishing dock we need more people and the village woodcutter we need more people all right got a big storage barn there but i think that before we do that we've got this coming which is the port royal blacksmith and we're short of stone so let's collect um almost all we've got stone there let's collect the stone and now we need to put in our forester so i just want a standard forester that looks wonderful let's come out and work out where we want our forester's lodge is actually yeah just a little bit that way perfect there we go forester's lodge start getting a forester in that needs to be built the reserve of food is low we only have 205 food that's right um, so we've got two laborers I think I'll put another person in the fishing dock. Now over here, down here, let's put a house and some storage near this fishing dock. The reserve of logs is low, the reserve of food is low. Let's cut some more logs. There. Okay. Now we need to come into here, this one, 
this one industry that is the blacksmith but we need a furnace in here right there we go okay port royal furnace and that needs stone as well we have logs we do not have arn so we need to make arn okay and this smelter will make arn eventually we will likely to have a shortage of logs to start with logs is low <laughs> yes okay so let's cut some more logs destruction tool and we want some more logs harvest if harvest to sway the trees across there there we go so we now have some firewood some iron ore and some stone good all right we've only got two children we are short of children so we are going to go I mean we've got children here but we need more houses that's the problem our food is coming up that's good so let's look at putting some houses up near where people are working and I am just sticking to the standard little houses here at the moment these little t tiny log houses which I think is so nice I just wonder though in here uh, these little log houses are gorgeous as a settlement I just wonder whether to put in um, a bog standard log cabin tiny shack a log cabin yeah they are just so gorgeous I think we will put a log cabin in there yeah to match that that's right how are we doing on storage it's full we need to build this barn all right okay all right this is so so pretty let me look at the map yeah We're going to have mines over there, obviously. But that's a lovely flat area over there. Right, we're not into building bridges yet. We're just trying to get ourselves up running and with food. So reserve of logs is low. Yeah, Forester's Lodge. And a log cabin, right. Until I harvest trees, let's just harvest some more. I have no trees left at this rate. Uh, and we're going to need some stone. Logs is low, logs is low, logs is low. Food is 1,293 right that is the port royal furnace and that will enable us to make some tools i wonder whether i should look at some rough tools i'd rather not if i can help it right we've got laborers cutting stuff at the moment and we are just waiting to see what happens. I think that's a good start. I think we've got a reasonable start there. And I've disentangled in my mind the mods that come under this maple leaf. Because we've actually, I think, got four mods there. We've got Sherbrooke, 
Port Royal, but we've also got Pine and Humble. So I think there's actually four mods here and I need to get these disentangled this time. So, let's just continue for a little bit more just till we get some of this built. I expect to have a shortage of tools. We're short of stone, they're being collected. We're short of logs, it's being collected. My goodness, look at this. I mean, it's absolutely stunning, whole place. Right, obviously we're going to have to work this way um, because we're going to need to get in traders and there's one trader I want to make sure I've got the room for. I'm not going to build this at the moment but I do want to make sure I've got room for it so if we go to the traders and it's the farm supplier seeds and animals this is the one that we need to get placed and that will place very conveniently right there Now that needs lumber, so we're not gonna build that just yet. Okay. We do not have, storage barns been built, that's good. That's a help. All right. And then up here, the Forester's Lodge. We're short of logs again. Right, let's cut almost have to take the forest down, don't you, to harvest trees. Now look at all this iron right next to the blacksmiths. We are going to be very short of tools soon, but I need this forester's lodge done and the furnace done to start with. Log cabin, blacksmith, but the other thing I'm going to build is a nomad well, because I can tell that I'm going to run out of people before I run out of anything else. Where's that nomad well? Well, Celtic well. Village well, lovely. Large village well. Ah, no, it's going to be under something else, isn't it? Roadless well. No, it's under here. A well. Now, I like this. I only want 5%, but we are going to put this well right next to our starting point. We will build that and bring some people in that way. Two labourers, two builders. We only have two children, guys. One in there, one in there. Now our food is looking a lot better, so we can afford more houses. The Forester's Lodge has been built and immediately I'm going to put another naught on that amount and I'm just going to put a forest in, I'm down to one labourer, one builder. This looks so familiar. I'm gonna close down the gatherer's hut. Actually, I'm not, not till I've got it fully stocked. Let's get a forester in. Uh, and in fact, I've got another labourer, I'm going to put two foresters in. Right, let's get this Port Royal furnace going and the log cabin going and the Port Royal blacksmith and the Nomad Well, that looks great. Okay. Food is now up to 2,600. We're okay on food. We are starting into a tools shortage. We don't have, do we have any iron in here? Did we have any iron? Well, no, we had iron tools. We did not have iron. We've got plenty of firewood and masses of fodder, that's okay. Right. But what we need are people. So, the Port Royal Furnace, stone is the issue. Have we got all the stone out of here? We have not. Has it got its logs? It has. So, let's just collect all the stone out of this forester's circle here. 
and give them the best start we can. Oh, we've got some stone right down in there. That's easy. Good. Yes, we are into a tools shortage, which is fine. It will slow us down, but it won't be too much of an issue. We'll get through it. They will have to dig with their bare hands. I am always more worried about food than anything else because people do die of starvation. So the log cabin needs logs and stone. Are we actually, yes, we are starting to produce logs from the foresters. That's a huge relief that we're getting logs. So we're getting logs and they could do with a log stop pile right next to them. That would be helpful. Let's just do that. Log stop pile. Yes, please. Next to the forester. There we go. Right. I expect we'll end up with nobody with tools, which is just the way life goes sometimes. I think where there it's early spring that's brilliant absolutely brilliant log cabin is now being oh it's yes it's got all its things and the royal furnace needs stone okay we're waiting on that blacksmith okay good well that wasn't bad for a beginning let's leave it at that for today guys I hope that I see you in the next episode and I hope I can keep my mods beautiful clear in my mind at least these two and then we're going to do all different areas with different mods I will see you in the next episode bye bye